G'day, welcome to Art with Alison. Right, so this afternoon I'm going to be varnishing some paintings. Um, oh, I've still got a, a <coughs> I've still got a bit of a cold, so I might be sounding a bit funny still. Um, anyway, I found that the best, easiest, and most effective way, and gives you the best result, is to do it this way, which is different to my previous video. So. I do recommend following this method rather than my earlier one. <laughs> All right, so I'm still using the Liquitex gloss um, varnish, which I like this one because it's it gives a UV protectant on it. It protects it from UV light. Uh, you might think, oh, but I'm not be hanging it in the sunlight, but it's amazing how much light gets into a room and yeah one of my yeah a painting that i did many years ago which i was so proud of a beautiful rose and uh, back then i didn't know about putting varnishes of any sort on and it faded i couldn't believe it it was just in my in my living area and yeah after some years i realized hang on a minute that's not the same, like I put so much work into all the, sh all the different shadings so it looks sort of like 3D-ish and everything and it oh, I just, yeah, so upset. So now I try and make sure that my paintings are well um, covered. So what I've got here, this is a, just a, a cloth that you can buy from the supermarket. It's a lint-free cloth and this has been kept in this plastic bag, this, uh, one that you can seal and I've actually had this done for a few weeks since I last used it and it's still perfectly fine and in here I've got the made up varnish so again this is a sealed container and I'll just put that down, of course I've got slippery hands now <laughs> um, and this is the Liquitex varnish but it's got about two-thirds water to one-third of the varnish so it's quite liquidy and because it is watered down like this it means that you can do um, more coats in less time like it dries very quickly so basically you want to soak your cloth in this and then squeeze it out as much as you can Right, that should do it and spread this out to be fairly flat yeah, get that most of the drippings off my hand don't want to be dripping everywhere and uh, just so you should start off on one edge and then just glide along smoothly calmly and that way you know it's all going to be done with a beautiful finish and then slide along there, slide along the top, slide along the bottom and that's done. And then I come back in about 20 minutes and do it again. And I'll do the same. And can I, I might have to swivel this a bit. Do the same with these ones. So, okay, I missed a step. It's really important, <laughs> so important that before you do this, that you uh, wash your canvases. And they go, oh, wash, how can I wash something that's, you know, you don't want all the paint to slide away. Um, but, oh, sorry, my microphone pulled. So, because your canvas has been sitting around for a while, then it's going to be gathering dust. Actually, I might, sometimes it's worthwhile to do it in the direction of the of what you've got painted. So on that one, I was going sideways like that, and on these ones, I might do circles. I hope you can see this because I've got the camera facing the other way, so I can't actually see what you can see. Hopefully I've got it pointed in the right direction. 
Uh, some of those with these little ones are just spray varnish, I have to say, but seeing as I'm doing this all at the same time, I may as well do these with the good varnish as well. I'll be selling these as a set at the local, hopefully, at the local art and craft store. If they don't sell, then I'll bring them back. I don't want them sitting there too long. These little sets usually sell quite well. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Right, so you just need to uh, get a clean sponge. Well, actually, no. First of all, I dust, get as much dust as I can off with feather duster and then a dry cloth. And then I go over with a sponge soaked in soapy water. And then I rinse that off with a clean cloth and then dry it with another cloth. I do have a video, I'll put a link up in the corner where the first part of it is me actually cleaning the canvases. So um, you can watch that to see that part of the process. So now I just leave this for, I don't know, I'd only need about 10 minutes or so. And then I can do another coat. What I like about this process is you don't end up with such a thick coat. I did find that when I was brushing the varnish on that the to get the brush strokes out I ended up having to do five coats and that did end up with a kind of a plasticky look about it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's quite nice to get a nice high gloss finish, but if you're not really after that, this is a better way to go because you can just, well, you can keep going as long as you want, but that's, that's the beauty of it. You don't, you're not left with any brush strokes and you can just wait until you get the gloss finish that you want. Now, I usually find about three coats is enough. Right. And then, yeah, put this, seal this all away and then it, lasts a few more weeks. Yeah, as long as it's sealed and isn't going to dry out, I haven't, well, I've only, the longest I've kept them is probably about two months. Um, but now I will put this, even though I'm going to be using it again in not that long a time, but you don't want it to dry out meanwhile, because obviously your canvases are drying out. You don't want this to dry out too. So pop this back in the bag and then squash all the air out as much as you can while sealing it and that helps to keep it nice and moist so half or th almost completely do the seal and then squish all the air out so you end up with it like this so it's all flat and of course put the lid back on your container all right I'll be back in a tick all right, so it's actually, it's only been about 10, 15 minutes and it's already completely dry. So it's safe for me to go back for another coat. So it's important to always wear, I keep knocking the camera, sorry. It's important to always wear gloves when doing these sorts of things because varnish isn't something you want to get into your skin. Uh, because I only just dipped this into the varnish, it would still be very well soaked, I'm sure. Let uh, you know, I will do a bit more. Seeing as I did do a lot of... Uh, I did do a lot of painting, so it might, have, might be worth dipping it in again. down here. Might just do the edges first this time. Right. And now this time I might just go more with the pattern. 
I mean, this is a good idea to do that if you're afraid you're going to get any streaks. But as I said, I don't think we very, very unlikely to get streaks with this method. Um, all right, so is that one done? Is it easy peasy easy. <laughs> and gonna wet the edges first and at least that way you know they're done. Go in the way of the pattern again. Going to be taking these to the local art and craft shop today. Talk to the lady who's in charge of deciding what she takes to go in the shop, and so they might end up in the shop today. She's very fussy though, which is good because it means you only get good quality stuff in the shop. But yeah, some stuff I think's really great. She doesn't. <laughs> she's not a fan of so. That's it with art too, as you do get personal preference. But I think she'll take this set, because the sets do sell quite well. And surely she'll take these other ones, because I think they're gorgeous. <laughs> so hey, if you want to buy them, you better give me a hoy right now. Need one more coat and then they'll be done. Okay, I'll be back again. All right, it's been about 10 15 minutes and it's completely dry again. So, and you can see, I don't know, can you see? It's got a, a bit of a gloss on it, it's not over the top. I mean, this, like it is. Yeah, I'm trying to decide whether to leave it like that, but yeah, let's put on another light. But I think we'll do just one more coat. And these ones. <laughs> Stuck on the bottom. So yeah, just like a semi-gloss. Which I think is nice. It depends what you're after, doesn't it? If you want high gloss and do more coats, basically. So I'll show you this one over here. No, I think this might be enough on these ones. Now nah, one more coat. One more coat. Just, just because. A little bit more shiny, a little bit more shiny. All right, pop the gloves back on. <coughs> Get that back out, the chin would open this first. It doesn't seem to be leaving any bubbles on it. The, you might see what you think of bubbles on the canvas, but that's just um, the canvas, really. All right, do this one more time. to make sure you don't miss any bits of the thing when you're not doing it in a controlled method like the first layer I did. You don't want to find that you've missed a patch because that might show up. Just 
rubbing over that because I can see a few little air bubbles. Yes, this is probably the final finish. You can't leave it too long before you go back because it dries so fast because it's mainly water. It dries a lot faster than if you were doing it with the um, normal straight Lucratex varnish. I love this one. This is a beautiful one. Just looks quite 3D-ish. Look at those lines. Can you see that? I can't tell if I'm pointing in the right direction, but hopefully I am. <coughs> if you're interested, at the moment I sell these for $25 each, $60 for the set, plus postage. Or you can commission me to do a set. My prices will be going up soon. Um, but anyway, let me know. We'll be having a website soon. So that's exciting. All right, so I think that's going to be just fine. It's going to be beautiful. I'll bring you down and show you by hand what it looks like just a tick so yeah i think that's let's put up the colors beautifully i love this painting i think this is about my second favorite painting that i've done so reluctant to sell it You've got to put your best stuff out there, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. These two are good. See the shine on that? It says, a nice shine. It's not a plastic shine, if you know what I mean. Like, over here, I've got the ones that I did previously in the just a straight vanish and the high gloss very high gloss but I do think they look a little bit plasticky it's too thick and this is the other one it's just yeah love this painting though it's beautiful Anyway, I think that's come up beautifully and I'm taking those into the shop in about half an hour. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. It's absolutely fabulous. And I shall catch you again soon. Okay, bye for now.